Right, uh, I've had the uh, potentiometer burn out on me again. Uh, I've had this side burn out, so what I've done is I've uh, swapped the lead uh, across to this side, so we can use the other half of the range. Now, uh, what I've also done is uh, I've hooked up my battery A to this battery to make sure that uh, we're getting like a, a decent input because uh, I, th I think this battery is quite dead to be honest because I haven't charged it since we've uh, started these experiments apart from like uh, uh, using the uh, the motor now uh, I've also put a couple of coils there and there just to represent where it's going to be and uh, this pipe over the top if you have a look down so it's where we've got our uh, uh, rotor. Now I've put this over the top to make sure it doesn't uh, spin out and uh, flights magnets everywhere. But uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, going to start it up again and show you the voltage out when the uh, potentiometer is okay. So uh, if I just give this a bit of a spin now and then switch it on. Now you can see the uh, charging battery uh, climbing there. So adjust it slightly. We're getting a, a decent 13 volts out of it. And this happened for quite a while now, and then uh, it'll end up here. I found that it always burns out the uh, potentiometer, so I think we definitely need to go with the rear stat to make sure that the uh, the charging battery can like uh, well charge to its full potential, I suppose. That's great then.